Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now for the week of September 11th through the 17th. This is intended to be a love reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. This may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people and there's no way I can read everybody. Um, this is for Gemini. September 11th through September 17th love reading. What do you have for Gemini? I have pre-shuffled these. The bridge three times, which I always do before I turn the camera on for the sun sign that I'm about to do. You know. As I was shuffling my bridges before I turned the camera on and I was thinking about you guys, I was thinking about somebody from the past and I don't know why. It doesn't mean a past relationship. It could be somebody you knew as a child, somebody you knew in school, it could be somebody from a past life, but there is definitely somebody from the past, okay? It doesn't have to be somebody you dated. It could be somebody you have dated, but it could be somebody you just knew as when you were younger, okay that's what it could be but the six of the six of the past six of the cups came up six of cups so um yeah so you could be you know thinking about somebody or talking to somebody that you knew as a child could be or as when you were younger or you know it could be somebody you don't even recognize but it could be somebody from a past life but if you believe in that which i do so um All right, this is for Gemini. Gemini. And you're here. You're here. And you, and I definitely, see the thing is, we have Gemini here, we have Gemini here, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We definitely have some players here. So, and we have an Aries. We have taking back control of your life, which you are definitely doing. That's happening, Gemini. You're taking control. All right. Um, I think maybe you feel like you have missed an opportunity in love or that maybe you're not accepting love from somebody. We'll get down to that one. This right here is a time of introspection, a time of restraint, a time of going within, a time of soul searching. All right? Figuring out a plan, figure out, figuring out where you want to go next, okay? Um, it's about focusing on your, your journey, focusing on your soul, all right? That's what you do. You take back control of your life. That's what this week is about. I think you're still soul searching. You could be communicating with somebody or thinking about somebody that you grew up with or somebody from your past. You know, that could be happening. It looks like um, we do have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely. We have a Libra. Um, we do have you. We have a Leo. We have you letting go of a situation. Something needs to be let go of still. It's not completely gone. I'm not sure what that is, but you definitely, you know, something needs to be let go when the hangman comes up. All right. And this one also is about letting go, surrendering. All right. Because this is an inner knowing. All right. This, that's inner wisdom. That's inner strength. Inner knowing. All right. Knowing that a situation is going to be fine. Um, knowing who you are. Um, takes courage and confidence, whatever this, of, to let go of something, something that maybe might have been passionate, all right? But this is about bringing back your justice, doing the right thing for you, all right? So this week is about balancing something out, which is the right thing for you, doing the, putting you first, because that's what she does. She's a Libra, puts herself first, all right? Now, I do, I think that you are highly connected to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because here we have you connected to one, and here we have you connected to one. Could be somebody that has a lot of water in their chart, but I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's that this person that is in your life that you're thinking about, as I'm giving you this reading, is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right? I do see there's a lot of passion. There is a lot of passion. That's all that there is. There's some things are happening probably quickly and you just don't know what to do. Yeah, I think there's some fast moving energy. I think that you're feeling very vibrant. You're probably looking very vibrant and beautiful at this time. 
okay? And I think that you are envisioning your future, a financial stable future. Um, I think you're a hard worker, that's, that's clear. I think you're focusing on your job this week quite a bit. Maybe love isn't at the forefront because you've got a lot of responsibilities and that's why you're still doing a little bit of soul searching, trying to figure out what your plan is regarding love. Um, maybe somebody is after you and they're just moving too fast and you're, just, you're not really sure what you wanna do. Um, I think you're focusing on family. I'm going to get my next deck this week. I think family's part of it. Um, maybe there's children in the picture, um, and which is affecting your love life because this is a missed opportunity in love or not being able to accept love. And then there's children over here and there's children right here. But this is a family person, somebody who is the leader in the family, okay? So, but this is pretending. This is ignoring a situation ignoring something it's a stalemate and it could be because of your career there could be a stalemate in your love life because of your career but this is calling for you to have strength courage wisdom and confidence okay that you can balance it all out because this is balance okay i'm not sure if i zoomed that in i did let me get shuffling these I definitely think that you have been doing some soul searching. That's for darn sure. Look at that sun. That is beautiful. Sun is a beautiful card and you have it twice. You're very vibrant and beautiful this week. There's no doubt about it. You're probably glowing. All right. And somebody probably thinks you are very attractive. You're probably alluring as a matter of fact. Oh, there could be a third party situation right off the bat. Okay, there could be a third party situation with somebody where you know you need to make a choice, or maybe you have three suitors, or maybe you have two suitors. Okay, maybe you know some somebody that you are communicating with has a couple suitors. Maybe you have to make a choice between two or three people. Seriously, maybe. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, maybe, and then I say definitely. I mean, I think there's a, there's, that you have options, put it that way. But your main concern is harmony and peace within your life. And you're definitely, yeah, it's time to make a choice. You need to make it, not that it's time. I mean, you can take all the time you want, but this is saying you need to make a choice. All right? The rods of love are being uh shot right at you gemini no kidding and you probably have a choice between more than one person and this week you probably just don't know what to do that's why this this cup is here and they're not accepting it because you just don't know what to do and you're just you're still soul searching you're still soul searching but you don't want to miss the opportunity so it's like oh my god things are happening too fast that's what's happening. Things are happening too fast. And you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Who am I going to choose? I, can't, I don't know what to do. And plus you got work and maybe children, you know, I don't know. There's a lot here. There is definitely a lot here and there's some need for balance. This is the balance right here. Do the right thing for you, okay? Do the right thing for you. You definitely need to make a choice with the Justice card and this card, this card and the Justice card. No doubt, you need to make a choice. Could be between, be between two people. Could be between, be between three. I think you've been doing some soul searching, and I think this week you're still doing it. I think this week you're really trying to think about what you're going to do next. You have a lot to consider. A lot to consider. But down here, there's a union. Ultimately, there's a union. A partnership. That you have been really dreaming about this partnership. All right? Definitely need to make a choice. There's no doubt about it. 
Now, I think this week you're pondering on the choice of what to do. That's what I think. You're getting three of the angel romance cards? Oh my God. Your vibrancy, that's what's happening. The sun card twice, it's, you're so beautiful at this time. Inside and out. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Your positive, open attitude is doing this. Children. Didn't I already tell you that? I think I did. Your love life is being affected by children absolutely positively. The other person could have children. You could have children. Somebody might want children and you don't want children. Who knows? The scenarios are endless. Children are affecting your love life. That's all there is to it. That's one of the things you need to consider. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That card speaks for itself. Might help you to make your choice. So Gemini, that is what I have for you for September 11th through the 17th for love reading. Talk to you later.